Hey folks, welcome back to the homestead. In this video, I'll be talking to you about two ways that we're cutting our food costs. Prices on just about everything are soaring right now. Groceries are no exception. We really wanted to find a way to cut back on our food costs as much as possible. Last fall, we ordered some day old chicks and put together a flock of laying hens plus a couple roosters. Now that they've gotten old enough, we're starting to get eggs just about every single day from them. We're not only getting eggs from these chickens, but we picked some dual purpose breeds that would be good for egg laying and also butchering for meat. Our little flock's got 15 hens and we've got two roosters. And the reason we decided to get a couple roosters is one, that they're a good protector to the hens. And secondly, so our eggs would be fertilized and we can set some of those in an incubator or either maybe one of the hens will go broody and we can raise some more chicks to replenish the flock and butcher some of those for meat. Most folks don't know, but raising chickens is not that hard and you really don't have to have a whole lot of land to do it. We built this coop out of pallets and I've got a video on that I'll put a link to below and you can check that out if that's something you're interested in. But you don't even have to build something this big. You can build something actually sort of tiny if you're only gonna have a a few birds and we chose to uh, build a fence around this with chicken wire and put a top on it just to keep predators out in our area we have a lot of predators that would come in and kill our chickens and you can also free range them and, and that's sort of the reason we didn't when i was growing up we would free range our chickens and uh, you can do that and just close them up at night but you have a lot more risk with predators coming in and getting them that way so we just chose to fence in a little lot um, you can also build chicken tractors you can put them out on pasture if you have some available they don't take a lot of room and maybe just move them and let them be in fresh grass every day that is that's really a good way to raise chickens as well especially if you're going to eat them now chickens are not very expensive to get started in you can usually order baby chicks from hatcheries like we did for probably in the two to four dollar range each or you can even uh, maybe find some grown birds from a local farmer or maybe somebody that's just got a few chickens in their backyard that they want to sell or thin down their flock a little bit pretty easy to find you can maybe just look on marketplace or craigslist or maybe just ask around in your community i'm sure there's somebody pretty close to you that's got some chickens and not hard to find somebody that will help you get started with your own flock so if you're looking for a way to cut back on food cost or you want to become a little bit more self-sufficient, chickens is a great way to get into that. One being that they're not very expensive to obtain and to keep up, they don't eat a lot. So you won't be out a lot in feed. Also, um, just they don't need a lot of space. If you've got a little room in your backyard to build a little coop or put them a little area just to keep predators off of them, that's all it takes. You don't have to have a ton of room to get started. And you can have as few as maybe two or three just for a few eggs, or if you wanna have 10 or 15 or, or maybe a hundred, if you wanna butcher those for your family and put some meat in the freezer, you can really uh, do it as small or as large of a scale as you want. So that's why I love chickens. Now, the second thing that we're doing to cut back our food costs is we're gonna grow some of our own vegetables. Me and Sean have always grown a garden, even when we lived in town, before we bought this place, we rented a little small house and uh, we were right in town and we didn't have any room at all. And we built a little small raised bed and you wouldn't believe the amount of vegetables that we were able to grow um, in that little raised bed every summer. But down here, we've got a lot more room and we've actually, um, took the tractor and plowed up a place and I've got to disc it um, just as soon as the ground dries back out. We're gonna go ahead and get some potatoes planted and a few of the early crops that some people have already gotten out. What I'm doing right now is starting a few seeds for my cucumbers and tomatoes. Now those are not gonna go in the ground uh, for probably about another month or so. 
here in East Kentucky where we live, you can still get a frost up until about the middle of May. So we usually don't plant any of that stuff in the ground till probably the middle or maybe even the third week of May. We'll actually be growing a couple different varieties of tomatoes, but the ones that I'm starting today is called a German Johnson. And I like a really big slicing tomato. I like to eat them on my sandwiches and I'm gonna try this one. A fellow I go to church with it told me about it, never grown them before. I like to sow two or three seeds in each one, just in case some of them don't germinate. I can always go back and thin them out after they start coming up. Now for my cucumbers, I'm doing a slicing cucumber and a pickling cucumber, and I'm only gonna do a few right now because I'm gonna set some more out a little bit later in the season. That way I'll have cucumbers on into the fall. couple seeds or three seeds probably for each cell at least two and I'll do my slicing cucumbers in the other one I've still got plenty of seed to sow now later in the season I'm just going to cover these up now with a little bit of soil. Now, just as I said with the chickens, a garden is also something you don't have to have a ton of room to do. If you've got enough room, you can till up a place, but you can also build a raised bed or you can even grow things in containers. A lot of folks, even in urban areas, will grow things on their back porch or a deck or patio and containers. You can even use buckets like this five gallon bucket from Tractor Supply. This is food grade and it's BPA free. Uh, you really wanna make sure it's BPA free if you're gonna grow things that you're gonna eat in it. But you can even use just a few of these five gallon buckets. You can put tomatoes or I've even known of folks growing potatoes in those. You can grow just about anything in one of those with a little pot and soil or garden soil and some compost. You'd be surprised in a tiny area how much food that you can actually grow for yourself. Now I'll probably fill these trays up with plants uh, in the next week or so and get a lot of seeds started. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get my tomatoes and cucumbers done for today. And I'm actually gonna start these inside of our home. I'll put these next to a window where they can get plenty of sunlight. And then I'll eventually move them out into a little mini greenhouse that I'm um, putting together using an old chicken coop. And I'll show you that in another video. Now we like to start our own seeds, but that's something you don't have to do. You can pick up plants that are already ready to go in the ground. Most home centers and uh, where we live, our neighbors actually, they farm and they have a produce market in town and they actually sell all kinds of plants, basically anything that you'd want to put in your garden. So if you don't want to start them from seeds, you can just go pick up a few plants and uh, do it that way. It's simple and uh, you can do it. You can even save your seeds for next year if you decide you want to. That's something that we've never done before, but we're actually going to start doing this year. and. Maybe I'll put that in a video later in the year when we get to that point. Now I've demonstrated to you two ways that we're cutting back on our food costs. And these are things that you can do too. I don't care if you have a lot of land or if you have a tiny little spot, you can do these things. And I want to inspire you and encourage you if that's something you're wanting to do, step out and, and give it a shot. Uh, start small, you can grow from there. You don't have to do everything at once. Just get started on it, but you can do it. Now, I do want to let you know we've got some merchandise now. We've got some t-shirts, and I'll put a link in the description below to those. And I hope you'll go check them out. If you buy any of that stuff, you're supporting the channel, and we really appreciate you. Whether you buy anything or you don't, just watching and, and hopefully getting something out of these videos means a whole lot to us. But remember to pray for us if you will, and we pray for you guys and hope that you're doing well. Check out some more videos. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you in the next video. God bless you guys.